Que le bohile tata. May God bless all of you here. Botswana is still my home country. Second, I've lived here for almost half my life. Yes. So all the memories of Botswana, they are still in my heart. Thank you, thank you so much. It is said, a nation that does not honor its heroes is not worth dying for. Based on this assertion, the entire Catholic community of St. Teresa Catholic Church, Lobate, represented by the representatives of St. Peter's Basic Christian Community, Reverend Father Agnes Teiku, Mr. Bakan, our seminarian, and Mr. Bokana, honored one of their own, Ms. Inonge Mwangana, as she prepares to return home. Ms. Mwangana, a member of our church community, hails from Zambia and served Botswana as a nurse for 30 good years. She shared her journey to Botswana with us. I came to Botswana in 1992. Um, I was recruited by the government of Botswana from Zambia. They had adver advertised for nurses okay. yeah, with the double qualifications. So I happened to be a midwife and I just applied like that it was in the newspaper. So I just applied like anybody else, yes. And I landed in Botswana on the 7th of January 1992. Then I was posted at the then old Mental Hospital. So I worked there for 18 years actually, dealing with psychiatric patients. Then uh, my, uh, I was employed on contract terms, which were renewable. So in 2010, somehow they had a shortage of midwives. So they, they, they realized I was um, actually a midwife working in a mental hospital. So then I was given a contract, now tenable at Athlone Hospital, where I was put in maternity ward. So I worked in Athlone Hospital from 2010 then uh, there was annual rotations which used to take place but i kept remaining at the hospital until 2010 when i was moved to topeng maternity hospital then uh, i my last contract was on the uh, 2nd of february 2022 because i was going to turn 60 in uh, june hence i'm relocating back to zambia which is my home country yeah i'll be based in lusaka right in the capital city of Lusaka, yes. Talking about her experiences here in Botswana, this is what she has to say. When I came to Botswana, apparently because I'm Lozi, so Lozi and uh, Siswana, they are quite similar. So I was very welcome here because they kept, the matrons would say no. This one is, 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 you know, is our own, you know, she's our own. And hence, I think I gained a lot of popularity. And because of the Lozi and uh, the Siswana, which is very, very similar, I've failed actually to, to speak Siswana <laughs> fluently. So I speak Siswana with an accent. Then I mix Lozi and the Siswana. So uh, basically, we, we share the same culture, like, you know, Botswana like cattle, we also have cattle. Mm. They like sour milk, we also like sour milk. We have mabele, we have the type of beans which they eat here. We used to call it our local loz beans. Mm. The small, small ones, because the majority of the Zambian people now eat sugar beans, which are slightly bigger mm. than the one that we eat here. Mm. Then I also learned culturally, you know, weddings, they are different from the way they do the weddings here. You know, you celebrate twice, two times, at home you just want one wedding. <laughs> yeah, then um, uh, cultural aspects also which I learned here is the funerals, which normally just take place like weekends at home, and they will take the whole week or so. But with us, it's just like two, three days. If you are not there, they will actually bury your relative without you, you being present. Yes. What was work-wise, I enjoyed working in a mental hospital initially because that is where I got to learn a lot of, uh, you know, mental illness. You know, a lot of young people abusing drugs, you know, you'd go into this state of depressions, you know. Oh, so many, so many. And actually, when you look at a person, then you... It's like sometimes I'll just try to do my mental state examination and see is this one <laughs> fit to be in a mental hospital or oh, home. Oh. Yes, then um, maternity, it's, um, it's quite challenging to work in maternity because actually when you're in maternity ward, you look after the mother and the baby. 
and um, you know you need to have the patience yeah the passion because it's not easy literally it's not easy so you have to put your patient first before your own mr danso the chairperson of st peter's busy christian community commended miss inonge for her selfless service to the country and the church these are his words there's something most of us have not noticed that whatever you do when you are people you are closely observed you may not be away. When I came to St. Teresa in 1998, in May, I didn't know people. But with time, I got to know most of the people there, those who are from Botswana, those who are foreigners. That's why I came to know Ms. Ma 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 Nonge, Mrs. Mangare, and then Mr. Anzioki to be our sister. So with time, we formed the first mass community which became strong. Before, even in the early days, we had Mr. Fakana, Mr. Amprakun, who were from Ghana, Mr. Texan, Cardinal Texan's junior brother, they, they all, were all there. Then some of them went away, they went back to their countries. Others continued to Europe and then the Americas. So by the time that the small community, we got to know ourselves much. It was basically myself, my Nonge, and then Mr. Nzioki, and the others, Dr. Kasambala came later, Dr. Masi and the wife, and, and many others. But then our community was very strong and stable. Where these small Christian communities, we are going to houses, we come here, we go to my place, and, and so on and so forth. We were together. Even though we are, different, we are from different countries, we worked together as if we were one big family. What, one thing that's very, very touching is departure. When you are coming close to somebody, you don't know the person, you come close, you become one with the person. But when the point of departure comes, it's very hurting. Now, our first mass community, which is now St. Peter's, went very low. It's not that we are trying to revive it. So with her telling me that she's going, I decided to talk to the new ones and other people. So they accepted that. The way I talk of her and other things, she can't go without any farewell. Just that most of them are doctors and nurses, so they are not here. But they delegated me and my daughter, Cynthia, to come and bid farewell to Ma Indonge on their behalf. People that I would like to thank is Mr. and Mrs. Modadi. They were very instrumental in this happening. Dr. Ngulbe, who is, who is very new in the community, is also part of it. Dr. Mugisa, is also important. The husband, Eddie Mugisa, is also part of it. Not forgetting my daughter, Cynthia. Mr. and Mrs. Fano, Mr. Fano and Rosa, they, we are the people who are around now, and then that made this. We saw that in faith, we can become brothers and sisters. And the type of life my Nongi has led in St. Teresa, in the first mass committee, which I know, is something that she can't go without us coming to do this small thing for her. Regular at church, when it comes to contribution, it's not the amount that one offers that matters, but it is the heart that gives, and it's a very cheerful giver. Can you imagine that even last two weeks, when we had to clean, though he knows it's going, she contributed to cleaning. That touched him more than any other thing. This is what me, Cynthia Danzo, one of the representatives, Emotionally has to say. So, Inonge, mommy, we are going to miss you. Seeing you every miss Sunday you in church all these years, you know. You know, I used to go to school, come back holidays, you know. Now meet my little sister also, she'll be here for holidays, you know, and we have that connection. But yeah, we'll keep talking mm. and praying for each other. Mm. And it's, mm. it's maybe an ending, but it's also a new beginning. Yeah. We don't know what is coming. Mm. But mm. surely God doesn't disappoint. Mm. Yes. So we're looking forward to all the good things coming ahead. And one day, one day, one of these days, we will we'll be together. Thank we will you. meet. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Presentation were made on behalf of St. Peter's Basic Christian Community at a church for that matter. So we are here today with just a little something little here to bid you farewell. Oh.
Yes, there's a little message here. Okay. Peter's family, we love you. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the choice oh. of this is not for nothing. Oh. <laughs> it is symbolic. That when I talk of nature, this is nature. When the last tree dies, the last man dies. So trees are very important. Secondly, the those two animals there are for special purpose. We want the Lord to guard my Inonge to grow as tall as the giraffe here. And the elephant is the biggest animal, but it has got the patience that no animal has. To give her the patience that the elephant has, the strength that the elephant has, and the sense of memory. No animal on earth has a bigger memory than the elephant. So we want to show, we also show that we St. Teresa first mass committee, we are the elephant. We remember all what you did. So that's why we chose this. And not forgetting that, you are going for Botswana, and Botswana must remember Botswana. That's why I put all this and gave you the map of Botswana. That's right. So that is the reason why we gave you this. We are talking as people of faith. And as, as a Catholic, you. as a Catholic, your best guide will be this rosary <laughs> with a very big crucifix. Yeah, crucifix. So this is, these are the two things we feel that you remember Botswana also to never forget your faith. And my my, my small speech will not come to an end if you don't mention the guest of Father Richard. I just told her after mass, and he has made time available to come with all his creed mm. to be with us. And we all mm. hope that God will guide you wherever you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Kilebo okay. Hile Tata. May God bless all of you here. Botswana is still my home country. Second, I've lived here for almost half my life. So all the memories of Botswana, they are still in my heart. Thank you. Reverend Father Richard Agnes Teku, on behalf of the parish priest, Father Lawrence Peto, thank Miss Nonge for her immense contribution to the country and the church as a whole. On behalf of my brother, on behalf of uh, the PPC, the entire faithful of uh, St. Teresa, we, we, we just want to say thank you very much for the sacrifices and for contributing a lot, not only to the church, but Botswana as a whole. You know, it's not easy. Um, you know, some of us relocating to Botswana, a different country coming in, we know uh, how challenging it is, especially leaving your family and coming to, to join, uh, you know, to, uh, especially in terms of adaptation. It's not easy, but uh, you've accepted to come here and serve the people of Botswana and also serve our community. We are so grateful. Uh, may the good Lord who sustained you here continue to sustain you and also lead you home. We are so grateful. He commanded her to always promote the ideals of St. Teresa wherever she finds herself. And wherever you go, make sure that you are from St. Teresa and try as much as possible to promote you know, the ideals of St. Teresa. Thank you very much. Father also assured her of the church's continuous prayer for her intentions and wish her all the best as she returns home. Uh, may the good Lord who sustained you here continue to sustain you and also lead you home. We are so grateful. I will continue praying for you. Okay. Pictures were taken. Few happy and emotional moments were shared, after which the chair of St. Peter's Basic Christian Community was commended for their kind gesture. We would like to thank the uh, uh, Modula Stilo, the president of that um, Christian community, for the wonderful gesture and for trying to uh, represent the church and to say goodbye to our lovely sister. So, as I said, Mr. Dansu, thank you very much. May God bless and keep you on behalf of my brother, Father uh, Lawrence, uh, the PPC, and the entire church uh, of uh, St. Teresa. We would like to say thank you. May God bless you. Thank you for appreciating because if you do something and somebody doesn't appreciate, mm. normally the one you are giving to will appreciate. Mm. But as to other bystanders, we also appreciate what you are doing. Mm. It's a different thing altogether. Yeah. So we thank you that uh, you represented the whole church, uh, Father Lawrence, and then the whole PPC. You have also appreciated it on their behalf. Mm. So let's hope that this will, this will continue and that we will continue living as the laity and our priests and religious. Thank you. Wish Mrs. Nonge. 
Mwangana, save journey back home.